Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to my channel 14 Let's Play here on some Clash of Clans. And guys, I'm actually going to be doing my war attacks today. I've got 4 hours and 48 minutes until this war is over and I have not done either one of my attacks. Now as you can see, Trent Pohl, one of my co-leaders, is actually attacking live right now. Uh, so let's go actually watch what he's doing and I'll explain quickly what is the plan. First of all, we are still in Gideon's Keep, which means this is a, a 50 v 50 war. We've been leveling up this clan really, really fast for events and because we felt like it. And so it's been a lot of fun. And so what I need to do is I need to get in. I need to make at least two pretty solid two star attacks. All right. Um, if I get three star, even better. But really all we're trying to do is gain the experience. And that's by two starring all the 14s and um, uh, three starring all the 13s and lower. We actually have lots of different levels in our clan right now. Uh, town hall levels. So guys, if you are interested in joining my clan, join the Discord server down below. The link is in the description. And apply. You can find all the information for joining my clan again down below in the well you can find the information on the discord server the link for that server is down below in the video description so it looks like trent will successfully get that two star so ggs i don't have to think about that base let's see if there are any untouched 14 so it looks like there are a couple so i like doing the untouched bases i mean why not right so um i like to do a uh, a queen charge not a queen charge, like a hero, like a Sui. So what that would do, uh, be is I'll try to get my hero, my king, and my queen to go in and take out a key thing, like an eagle artillery or the town hall or something. So with this one, I think I would struggle maybe to get to that eagle on the right-hand side. And then, of course, my dragons and stuff would struggle to get to the town hall. And then if I got my heroes in there, they would have to deal with that single inferno, which would be really tough. So this is not the type of base that I would want to hit. So let me look at the next one and see yeah this is a little bit closer so i think that i could probably do okay with uh with getting the town hall with my heroes with this base let me go ahead and call this base and uh then we're gonna go ahead and go for it i've got my army which is the clone attack i've been bringing three clones and shifted and now i'm bringing two freezes instead of i was bringing four clones for in previous videos and i decided to start bringing three instead that was a, a suggestion by one of my clan mates so let's give this one a try guys and see how it goes and of course if we uh if we do well war, war win bonus is over a million loot gold and elixirs that's actually more loot than i would normally get in a legend league attack so why not all right let's go so uh first things first i need to establish a bit of a funnel so maybe if i get my sneaky goblins and get these gold mines out of the way that would be fantastic super wall breaker and I, I've been I've been putting down the wall breaker early because sometimes my king decides he wants to go off in the wrong direction and uh, it's a terrible, terrible experience. So now the, the second super wall breaker will kind of glide across the way. And you know what? I'm gonna throw in a dragon up here just to try to make that funnel. Let's pop that king's ability there. He is going to uh, take out that town hall. No problem whatsoever. And, uh, and now I'm going to place down a poison spell. It's got to cover those headhunters because otherwise the headhunters head do stupid things to my troops. And uh, all right, now, Queen's ability. There you go. Let's throw down my balloons, my dragons, and my uh, whatever those things are. <laughs> Stone Slammer, Warden, and uh, let's actually throw in the Royal Champion out there too. Warden's ability. And what I'll do is I'm just going to focus down right now on uh using my freezes and such so let's drop an air defense or i'm sorry freeze out there let's actually freeze this as well and uh next thing is whenever the stone slammer decides to pop i'll rage and clone the balloons inside of there so it should yeah there it is all right so i'm gonna clone uh two clones down right there and then drop down the third one ah oh, but right in the face of a scatter shot that was not that was kind of a stupid thing to do that's terrible. Uh, hopefully, yes. Okay, we got into the blind spot of the scatters. Hopefully, come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Ah, uh, <laughs> we missed the scatter. That is a bummer. That is a true bummer. Okay, so my, I, I mean, I got the two star with like very little planning and a cookie cutter army. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. Let me get this camera, a hand cam, a little bit closer. But uh, yeah, that wasn't the best attack. But well, my job, generally speaking, like all the clan mates have different roles, right? So my job is generally to go in, fresh hit a tunnel 14, get the two star, and then one of my other clan mates will look at my attack and they'll improve upon that and give us a better percentage or potentially a three star. So that's kind of the role that I play, especially because I don't have the time 
to like sit and plan for an hour for one attack. That just doesn't work for me. So anyway, 63% two star, not too bad. So the next step guys is I need to get my heroes and my CC back and I will scout out another base and attack it. So uh, yep, I did my job so far for the war and here in how long? 40 minutes, give or take. I'll do it again. So in the meantime, I'll be recording something for my second YouTube channel. If you guys haven't seen that, it's called Klaus Plays. You can find the link for that down below in the description. Wow, I just <laughs> happened to log in. I got a minute and a half before my heroes wake back up for another war attack. Yeah, so that means that I've got a minute and a half minus however long it took me to tell you guys that to uh, pick another target. So let's see, maybe number six. It's not attacked yet. Uh, yeah, that one would be an easy one to to charge in and take out the town hall. So keep that in mind. Number six is a good one. We could also take out number nine. Uh, not quite as ideal as number six. Actually, it's already got an opening. It's got two openings. I mean, this one would be good too. I think number six was better though. And let's try number 11 and I'll make my decision based on those two. This is a weird one. Actually, this is a good one. The problem, though, would be the sweepers, right? Getting in there and taking out the town hawks. I'm thinking about hero diving for the eagle. I'd also take out the... Ooh, this is actually a good one. Um, Yeah, it would be a little bit tougher to funnel, though. I think I'll stick with number six. I think number six was a good one. And then just some lower bases, but we've pretty much all covered those. So let me go ahead and call this, because obviously the closer we get to the end of the war, the more active my clan will get at trying to wrap stuff up. So 25 seconds. So let me look at number six once again. This guy's name is, uh, it looks like it's Saiyan, like from Dragon Ball Z, right? Super Saiyan. I don't know. That might not be it, but uh, it's pretty cool, right? I like it. And if we can, ooh, yeah. And if we can actually avoid the single targeting Inferno, I should be able to get in here and take out all of that. I will nullify a sweeper and I'll probably take out the, the CC as well. And then I can send in my dragons and stuff from down here and they can just kind of circle around. So that'd be great. All I would need is maybe like a sneaky goblin on this gold mine and another like two of them, maybe on that gold storage and a super wall breaker to break in right here. Everybody goes in. Town hall would go down relatively simply. I like it. I like the plan. OK, so let's see if anybody's. Yep. Yeah, OK, so my heroes are awake. We're ready to go. Let's do this thing. All right. First things first. Like I said, sneaky goblins. We're going to send in one and we're going to send in two. Let's get the super wall breaker to go through there. Boom. And uh, we got that storage down too. That was perfect. Another super uh, super wall breaker. I'm just going to send it in there. It might damage that uh, air defense. And also, I kind of do that in case there's any traps. Sometimes, sometimes they stumble onto some traps. So poison spell selected. Oh, we got ourselves a, 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 a what is that called? A hound. <laughs> we got a hound. No bueno. All right. Uh, no, the king. Come on, buddy. Come on, get it. Yes. Oh, we got it. Nice. Oh, uh, that was perfect. Let's drop that poison and take out that, that hound. And uh, we can go ahead and start the next part of the raid. All right, let's go. Boom. 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 Queen popped her ability. I forgot about it, so I'm glad that she did that. And then... Uh, Maybe Warden's ability early? Yeah, let's go ahead and pop a board, the Warden's ability. Good start. Great start to the raid, actually. Um, all right. So, maybe... I don't even know. Uh, I should probably rage and clone the heck out of all these balloons. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Let's freeze over that. Let's freeze over that. I'm going to send in my Royal Champion to hopefully go in there and target the Eagle. All right, this is good. So we got a lot of dragons in the core. They'll take care of the enemy queen. We got a bunch of uh, dragon riders and the balloons going in against the eagle with the royal champion. The problem is the enemy king. Dang it! I didn't. I didn't realize he was there. The enemy. The enemy heroes are the biggest problem for the royal champion. Like it's really annoying. But um, yeah, this is looking really good. Actually, everybody's kind of like piling in together. Look at this. This is perfect. So we got a bunch of dragons, dragon riders, even some balloons. The balloon went. The balloon died. Uh, but they're, they're clearing up all these defenses. I have one dragon out here doing the cleanup. This is going to be a high percent two star, if not a three star. Ideally a three, but I think it's going to be a two because we still have an air defense and a scatter over here on that side. But I'm cool with that. I mean, shoot, for a fresh hit in a war attack where usually my clan mates are doing all the work, I mean, I'm happy. I, I'm totally cool with this. All right, so the king went down. He was a problem. I shouldn't have put the royal champion down there. Uh, really, okay, so like pro tip, if you're going to be using your royal champion for like a back end, 
don't send her at a hero. N no queen, no, no, no king, not even the other royal champion. Like, it's probably not going to go well. So try to put her in a place where she's not going to have to deal with any of that and she can do her job and take out defenses. Just saying, it's, it's an important thing to do, okay? It's an important thing. So, anyway, that looks like it's going to go badly. I, I mean, that one dragon has got a lot of hit points. I think we might... No, no. I mean, we've got a scatter shot and an eagle... Or, and an air defense in the same place. So, yeah. There's there's one dragon, and that scatter actually wiped out the other two. That was brutal. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. Um, 88%. 88%? 88%. 88 miles per hour. We're going to go back to the future if we do that, right? Please tell me you get that reference. If you do, you are... I love you. If you don't, you need to watch Back to the Future. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, 88%. Not bad. Actually, way better. Way better than the other attack. So, I am satisfied. So, we're actually way behind on stars, I just realized. So, yeah. Um... That's unfortunate. I guess I will show you guys the results of this war in the next video. Or on my Instagram, I might share that, or on my Twitter, or on my Discord. Make sure you follow me on all those. The links for all that is down below in the description. So now let me go ahead and spend some loot, and uh, that'll be it for today. So first things first, let's upgrade the Yak. I've got plenty of Dark Elixir, so bam! And then I think I've actually got a Hammer of Heroes coming. So let's go ahead and buy that Hammer of Heroes, and I might have a Book of Heroes. Nice! <laughs> go ahead and buy that. Uh, 500 gems. I'm going to book the yak and I'm going to hammer the yak. Nice. And then, oh. Oh, I forgot I had a ton of dark elixir. Dang it. I should have. Well, no. That worked out okay, I guess. If, if I had, if I had bought the level nine upgrade for the yak with loot, then the hammer wouldn't have been able to finish it off, and I don't have another Book of Heroes. So, that works for me, I guess. I'm still gonna do the upgrade. I won't have the Yak, but we're maxing out the Yak today! Dude! That's awesome! Bam! Done. Yes. So the last- so I've got- okay, so in seven days, or if I decide to gem this, uh, I will have three max- pets and uh one left and that will be the electro owl so i cannot wait poor owl been neglected it's like one of the best ones but unfortunately just hasn't gotten the love like everybody else but hey you know what that was amazing i'm super excited about that is there anything else i mean i could spend some elixir i think the only thing is walls the laboratory is still rocking yep so let's go ahead and do uh a few walls with elixir and then also Gold. I mean, I can probably just do whatever, right? Uh, let's do a, another builder hut. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think this will be my first max builder hut, by the way. Finally, let's do it. Actually, wait, wait. When's the builders going to be finished? Two days. Yeah, I can hang with that. All right. Bam. There you go. Builder hut maxed. Let me go to my progress base. Don't look to the mismatch walls. I'm upgrading the walls based on the word Klaus. I reorganize these off camera, and then let me move this builder hut across. Oh, it's my second to last. They're my 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 second maxed out builder hut. I forgot. I'm sorry. My brain just quit working on me for a second. But anyway, there you go. Lots of progress today. Amazing day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Discord, and all that for the results of today's war. And um, yeah, remember I love each and every one of you. Oh, and don't forget to use code CLOSS if you guys decide to buy something in the game. And I will see you all again next time.